Dr. Oligo 192 is the world's premier platform for high throughput oligonucleotide synthesis. It is designed to be versatile, user friendly, and robust, compatible with a variety of chemistry systems and synthesis options. The instrument and software are fully customizable to meet any production synthesis requirements. This video will give a brief introduction to the instrument and software, its capabilities, and its operation. On the lower shelf of the instrument is the computer and the power supply, which supplies power to the entire instrument, including the computer. The power supply can be plugged into a wall outlet. It will automatically detect whether it is drawing power from a 110 or a 220 volt circuit and adjust itself accordingly. Also on the lower shelf is a pull-out tray containing the large reagent bottles and the waste container. There is also a pull-out tray containing the keyboard for the computer. The top portion of the instrument contains the smaller reagent bottles for the activator, amidites, capping reagents, and oxidizer. There is also an option for amidites intended to be delivered at very low volumes to be mounted on the front of the instrument. Reagent flow to the reaction plate is controlled through valves mounted on the back of the instrument or through valves capable of delivering very low volumes mounted directly on the top of the nozzle plate. Each reagent position is equipped with a manual valve that controls what is delivered to the reagent nozzles. During synthesis, the valve is set to the reagent itself. However, after a synthesis run is complete, the valve can be switched to wash, to rinse the lines and nozzles with acetonitrile, and then to gas, to blow gas through the lines before repriming them with the reagent. The reaction chamber is sealed using clamp arms located at the front and rear of the nozzle plate. To open the reaction chamber and access the reaction plates, release the clamp arms and raise the nozzle plate using the nozzle plate switch located on the control panel. Inside the reaction chamber are positions for two 96 well reaction plates capable of holding up to 96 solid support synthesis columns. There is also a drain port used for priming reagent nozzles. During synthesis, the reaction plates are moved back and forth to align the solid support columns with the reagent nozzles. The control panel contains the gauges and switches that regulate the flow of gas to the bottle pressurization system and the purge and drain pressure system. Reagent bottles are pressurized to the levels shown on these three gauges. The pressure levels determine the flow rate at which reagents are delivered to the reagent nozzles. When it's time to change a reagent bottle, the existing bottle may be vented by flipping this switch down, at which point the old bottle may be removed. After the new bottle is installed, flip this switch up to pressurize the new bottle. The flow of reagents through the synthesis columns is regulated by the purge and drain pressure shown on this gauge right here. Additionally, slower flow of reagents through the columns may be achieved by the use of these two flow meters here. The actual pressure inside the reaction chamber at any given time is shown on this gauge here. This red light indicates that one or more of the gas pressurization systems is too low to operate a synthesis. When all bottles are sufficiently pressurized and the purge and drain system is sufficiently pressurized, the red light will turn to green. To set up a synthesis, fill a 96 well reaction plate with the solid support columns to be used, then place the plate in the reaction chamber. If only one plate of oligos is to be synthesized, 
the remaining position in the reaction chamber must be filled with a blank block. When this is complete, lower the nozzle plate using the nozzle plate switch on the control panel. Then, seal the reaction chamber by locking the clamp arms in place. Next, the software must be configured for the synthesis. Click Synthesis Parameters to adjust various parameters such as what the instrument will do if it detects a low pressure in one of the pneumatic gas systems, that is if the green light turns to red, what kind of support is being used, universal or standard, what the synthesis scale is, and other options. These options may be set once and then retained automatically for future syntheses. To select the protocol to use, click Select Protocol File. Select the protocol from the list and click Accept. To select the oligo sequences to be used, click Select Oligos. Click Select to find the oligo sequence file and click accept. Note that only 58 oligos are being synthesized in this plate. It is possible to synthesize fewer than 96 oligos. However, if you do this, the unused positions in the reaction plate must be filled with plugs. The plate must be given a name and the software must be given a chance to verify the sequences before you can continue. A run file will be created collecting data from the run. At this point it is recommended to prime all reagent nozzles, though this is an optional step. When everything is ready, click Autosynthesis. A checklist will appear reminding you to make sure of the following things before starting the actual synthesis run. Make sure that all re reagent reservoirs have enough reagent to complete the synthesis, that all manual valves have been properly turned to point to the reagent, that the waste container has been emptied, that there is enough gas pressure to complete the synthesis as evidenced by the green light on the control panel, and that the purge and drain pressures have been set correctly. When all of these things are complete, click clear to proceed. Start the synthesis, click Start Synthesis. The instrument will home. And then proceed with the synthesis reactions.
Thank you for viewing our short video on the capabilities and operation of the Dr. Oligo 192. The Dr. Oligo synthesizer is also available in other models, such as the 96, the 384, and the 768. Other instruments for oligo and peptide synthesis are available from Biolytic Lab Performance Incorporated. Additionally, Biolytic provides accessories for downstream handling of synthesized oligos, such as the temperature controlled heated pressure chamber for cleaving and deprotection, and the Dr. Oligo processor for purification of synthesized oligos. For more information on these or any of our products, please visit our website at www.biolytic.com.